So we're being sued over hot chocolate bombs? What's up y'all and welcome back to the Station Bakery. This might be the end of hot cocoa bombs and the holiday season as we know it. Many of you have heard that hot cocoa bombs have been trademarked. And if you haven't, well, hot cocoa bombs have allegedly been trademarked. But before everyone runs into a panic trying to figure out what you're going to do, let me break down to you what's true and what's false. And what this might mean for this year's sales. But before we get into the good stuff, let me just warn you, I am not an attorney or any form of legal counsel. I'm simply a person who has a skill in Google search to search for the truth. And the truth is what shall set you free today. So the first time that I heard of hot cocoa bombs or hot chocolate bombs being trademarked was last year. Yup, this whole trademark frenzy already happened last year and is back yet again for another round this year. Maybe we'll make this a yearly tradition. So what happened last year was a person received a cease and desist letter over a trademarked or copywritten hot chocolate bomb. This particular issue was over a cute little snowman. Some people might argue with that. One named Carl and the other nameless. It was a whole big fiasco and I'm sure it left a few people scarred. There were tears, letters, screams, a series of bad reviews that ultimately left the company with no other choice but to release a tearful explanation as to why she had to go after this other lady in her snowman hot chocolate bomb. Some argue it was because the small business owners look better than hers and others agree. However, upon looking into this a bit further, I found information that when a trademark is filed, that the filee must take their trademark very seriously and actively pursue protecting said trademark, which actually makes sense because if they don't, then who will? Which is exactly why Disney and the likes hire people to do just that. Shrouded in this pearl clutching scenario was the fact that another company was filing to trademark hot cocoa bombs. Cocoa bombs and bombs. At the time, it seemed quite silly because I mean, but here we are yet again. I posted a TikTok video that kind of blew up a little, but you know, you can check that out a little bit later. A person commented that the words that I had used have been trademarked. So of course I wanted to know more. I did some searching and this is what I came across. A trademark has been filed by Maud Borup Incorporated on January 19th, 2020 for hot cocoa bombs. This is where most people have stopped and they say, oh no, it has been trademarked, what are we gonna do? But my friends, you have to go deeper. When you look at the filing status, it actually says that this trademark has been suspended. What does that mean? It means that something has caused a halt in the filing for this trademark. There are a few reasons, but it states that one of the most common reasons is that someone else has filed for something similar, which then can cause this whole filing process and registration process to be up and limited for forever. Now let's move on to cocoa bombs. I did the same research and lo and behold, there is a trademark that has been filed for cocoa bombs. But remember, we can't stop there. Being filed by Cocoa Bombs LLC on December 11, 2019. So the status for this particular trademark has actually been rejected and the filees are currently in the process to appeal that rejection. So as of now, there are currently no trademarks for either of these terms. Woohoo! I also looked into hot chocolate bombs because those are the words that I use to describe the product. And sure enough, another trademark has been filed for those under Bomb Bombs Hot Chocolate Bombs. And long story short, it's in limbo for either needing more information to move this process forward or it has actually been rejected as well. So we've looked into cocoa bombs, hot cocoa bombs, and hot chocolate bombs, which are all currently not registered trademarks. Trademarks. But can you register a trademark for a commonly used word such as bomb? A trademark for the word bomb has actually been filed and registered by Frankfurt Candy LLC on November 12, 2020. When we look at this trademark, its status actually was registered and active. But how? It's such a commonly used word. Well, the word bomb is actually being used as a mark, just as all other trademarks to distinguish a brand, product, or something similar, to remove confusion and the possibility of someone else being able to profit off of the trademark. So with this term bomb, it is specifically marked as 
as being a hot beverage mix and candy and has been approved as a trademark for this company. The word bump in conjunction with a hot beverage mix and candy has been trademarked, which means using this word in conjunction with a hot beverage or candy means that you are actually infringing upon this trademark. However, it does not mean that the actual word is trademarked when being used in other contexts. Do I agree with this? Heck no. Do I believe that they are the actual creators of this? Heck no. And there have been a few people who have been saying that the Coco Bombs LLC person is actually the creator of this, but he's actually not the creator of this either. He's just the one who put it on TikTok and made it go viral for the world to know about. So who actually was the original creators of Hot Chocolate Bombs? we may never really know. I know that I first saw them back in 2019 and that's when I began to make them. But there are others who have been doing this for even longer than that. Just do a Google search for hot cocoa bombs or hot chocolate bombs and see all the dates of all the tutorials and recipes and things that have been posted previously. So is there anything that we can do about this whole fiasco? Well, actually, yes, there is. And a group of people have already taken action and that current registered trademark is now pending cancellation. So what does that mean? Well, the site says the trademark is undergoing a challenge, which may result in the removal of the trademark. How is this happening? I believe that a few brave and passionate souls took one for the team and went and filed appeals for this trademark by showing proof that this has actually been used prior to the filing date of this company, which is now causing this trademark to be questioned and as many are hoping to eventually be canceled. Great job, guys. So what does that mean for all of the hot chocolate bomb makers of the world? Do we continue to do what we've been doing? Are we still going to choose a different name? I've been hearing words like balls and grenades being thrown out there. But I'm curious, let me know how you feel about this whole trademark fiasco and then watch these videos on how to make hot chocolate bombs next.